when you break out of the when you break out of the nine to five or you don't go university or you go university but then you know you go down a different road you go down the entrepreneurial direction and you become an entrepreneur you set your own business up and you, you enjoy it and become successful and make money and you go the way that's not conventional for most of society there's all it's inevitable there's always people that don't like that that are going to be very critical of you and they're just going to be jealous and they're going, they're going to project their distaste onto you now depending on your mindset this can be super positive it can be amazing for personal growth it can actually go on and enable you to make more money in your business and to make a bigger impact with helping the people that you help that are your customers your clients and it can also just help you to be a better person in life you know to be a better son uh, or a better parent or a better friend or just just better in society because you've got higher self-esteem you've got better empathy you have more awareness you know how to deal with people more you can deal with criticism and not be affected by it and this is one of the conversations i just had with my client just today i just finished a session i love the conversation because it's important to my clients and it's and it was important to me because Throughout my years of experience, there's different types of reactions that I get from people. I've been an entrepreneur now for almost 11 years. I've been coaching, doing what I love, working for myself. Um, obviously, in that period, there's times I've stopped working due to mental health, but nonetheless. So I get two reactions. The first one is super positive. Like People are really impressed by what I do. They respect it. They're inspired by it. It inspires them in their life to go and do better things, which is great. But I also get the second reaction, which is very negative, very pessimistic, very jealous, very critical. And, you know, usually it comes in the context that, you know, these are like patterns that come out of people. They say the same sort of thing. Sometimes it's subtle. So people will say things like, oh, so you're a confidence coach. So how, how do you get clients or how does that work? Or do people pay you for that? And it's very it's very negative it's very critical even if they they don't have the courage to directly say that they you know they don't have the courage to say it directly but indirectly there's subtle criticism and it's it comes from low self esteem it comes from their jealousy and their ignorance of not knowing or not liking the fact that i do something different to them they've grown up following the system which is their choice which is fine and they it's like it's almost like um, it, it can fall into uh, like almost being quite um, um, competitive and judgmental and feeling that they're right and, and I'm wrong. Holding that um, really un, unhealthy position of ego where it's like, well, you, you're not doing the same things I'm doing. You know, you're not doing nine to five or you're not a university then that then there's something wrong what i've learned to do is is don't care don't care what they think and just i just continued what i'm doing their opinion um in the earlier days it used to really affect me it used to make me feel insecure it used to make me feel down it used to make me feel very judged it used to make me feel different weird strange because i would allow their feelings their emotions their reaction to what i did come inside and affect me but as I gained more experience and got more perspective on it, a lot of the times I realized that deep down they admired me because deep down they're not living their dreams or maybe then maybe they're doing the right job, which is great. And going to university is, isn't a bad thing um, if that's what you want to do. I, I encourage people to live their dreams. So I've had clients that um, are university students and they're suffering with terrible social anxiety and they need my help and they're lovely and i'll help them it's all about following your heart and your dreams it's about what makes you happy if you if doing the nine to five makes you happy then you're doing the right thing it doesn't matter about what i think or anybody and that's the kind of moral of the story you cannot please everyone even if you go out and and you give to the homeless and you're so kind someone will have a problem with it someone will say that you're not genuine you know, you're a scam or, or, or some people don't like it. They'll be like, you're encouraging people, you know, not working and not being accountable. So it doesn't, even when you're doing good, someone's always got a problem with it. And you have to accept that we're in a catch 22 where you're always going to get that from a certain group of people. You have, you just have to accept it and, and ignore it. 
and then you get around people that that you do connect with and that you do love and they love you and there isn't that judgment you both admire each other and you have a great relationship so it's just the story of of being human in this world but my whole thing was in the earlier years I didn't have the courage to go out and build my own business because I cared too much about what people thought and about what outside society thought. And now I don't care about that because I've faced that fear thousands and thousands of times. Every day I go to work, do what I love. It doesn't even feel like work for the most part. And that's what annoys some people because they got to get up in the morning. They got to do a job that they hate, they despise. They don't want to do it. They're just doing it for the money to pay the bills. So when they see someone who loves what they do and gets paid more than them, it triggers them and it makes them resentful and jealous. So you you really, what's been useful for me is really understanding human beings more and understanding the goodness in people, but also understanding badness in people. You know, the, the resentment and the anger and jealousy. And it makes you look at yourself. It makes you, well, it certainly made me do. It makes you go, well, I don't want to be like that to people. You know, because I remember... When I was younger, um, I would get jealous as well if someone was doing better than me. So when you work on yourself and you build your confidence up, you don't get jealous anymore, or you certainly don't get jealous in the same way. So if someone's, if so, look, I would, if someone works in McDonald's, I'm not going to judge them for it. I'm not that kind of person. I don't have that kind of heart. Um, I, it's just what for me it comes down to: are they a good person? Same way, if someone is, um, if someone is a millionaire. Um, I'm not going to judge it. Um, if they're a good person, it's like, great. So when you get to that perspective, it's a much better place to be. Then you're not so sensitive. Then you can be, you can see both points of view. So I personally, university wasn't the right route for me. I wasn't passionate about it and I'm not going to do it. I don't care who, who says I, no one's going to force me to do it. That's my right. But I would really admire someone who goes to university and really makes something great of their life. And they're a wonderful person. i happily be friends with them and as I said some of my clients um, have gone uni but that doesn't mean that I've got to do it but I can still have that healthy perspective same way that if someone does nine to five I'm not going to judge them for doing nine to five um, if they're a good person and I love them and like them I'm going to help them and, and respect them respect them for getting off their ass and doing a hard day's work because I've done nine to five obviously people in my family do nine to five and many people that I know that I grew up with but I'm not going to do nine to five because nine to five is not right for me. That's not my purpose in life. I did nine to five jobs. Um, um, I didn't enjoy most of them. The only one I enjoyed out of all of them was being a postman when I worked at Royal Mail. But eventually that ran its course. I love, I do what I love. I love to make um, a lot of money teaching and coaching. It's my passion. I'm doing it right now, doing this video. For the last eight minutes, I'm, I'm doing coaching inspiring people and I know how much a people I know how much people appreciate me who are looking for this information and they're the right people for me to help and I know there's a lot of people that are going to resent me hate me now not like me and judge me and I'm fine with that it's not going to stop me doing what I love and that makes me feel even more better the fact that I can handle hatred being thrown at me and people judging me and being jealous of me or trying to make me wrong and make themselves right I'm fine with it that's having that's growing more as a person and that is becoming more consciously aware of yourself and other people taking responsibility. So really it comes down to do you love what you do? And if you don't like what you do, here's another scenario. Now, I have situations where um, I meet lovely people. Um, they're new people. They don't know me. Um, they're not like you guys. They don't know what I do. They don't know nothing about me. So they'll say, what do you do? And I say, I'm a confidence coach. And they're like, oh, that's really interesting. How does that work? And I explain what I do. But I help men, mostly men who have an anxiety disorder. And I tell them a little bit about my story, that I've had an anxiety disorder as well. But I didn't let it stop me living my dreams. And I help them to build confidence. And then it's like, then they'll tell me that they work, they, you know, they work in a career job with a corporate world or in, in a nine to five. And, and I'm like, cool, man, cool. I was like, do you enjoy that? And they'll be like, well, it's OK, but not really. And then they tell me they don't actually enjoy their job. And then they say that they have a business idea. They'd like to, for example, open up a, a coffee shop business. And I'm like, that's a great idea. And then, you know, and then I can't help it because I'm a positive person. And I, and I like encourage. So I'll say you could do that if you wanted to. But some people get offended by that. They get offended by me 
telling them that they could live their dreams. It, I'm not patronizing them. I'm not judging them. I'm not looking down on them. I'm, I've just seen them as a, that they're a great person. And they've told me that they don't enjoy their job and they'd like to set their own business up and follow their passion, whatever that may be. And I'm saying, I'm encouraging them, saying that they can do it. But some people, depending on where they're at, they take, they hear that the wrong way. They hear it like, oh, he's trying to put me down when I'm not. So everybody's sensitive to different things, depending where they're at. Where I've had people that have said to me, oh, I love what you do. How do I do that? And I explain to them how they can do it. So you get to a point in life where um, I think, let's use the word accept right now. You, you don't always agree on it and you don't always like people, but you just get on with it. And that's what makes you go to another level where, like I said, if I was affected by every single person that didn't like what I did, didn't approve of it or was negative, I would never be able to live my life. I would be in, I would literally be in a prison, but I don't let people have that control over me or power over me. And I also make sure that I wouldn't put someone else down. I wouldn't judge them for their position in life as long as they weren't, you know, trying to argue with me and be aggressive and abusive. So having that balanced perspective just makes you awesome. Um, so if you're going through that right now, it's actually a good sign. It's a sign that you can grow because if you get angry, which is sometimes human, if you get angry because people are, you know, being critical of what you do, then they're winning. So you really just want to be very calm and, and relaxed, but you've got to go through it and grow through it to get to this point. So for me, that's why I started um, adding to my coaching. When I first started, I just, all I did was dating coaching. Um, and then I started doing social anxiety coaching and then confidence and then life coaching. And that's why I've added business coaching because I love business. You know, it's changed my life. It's given me a lot more freedom, not just financially, but mentally and emotionally. And I've met some of the most amazing people um, through business, through coaching, through the coaching industry. And I want to coach and help other passionate people out there that have come to a point in their life where they don't want to do nine to five anymore. Or maybe they went uni, it's not for them. And they want to set their own business up. But at the moment, fear and anxiety and the lack of confidence and the lack of experience and not having the belief system is holding them back. And I can help those people that want the help. So I've come to a realization that sometimes I'm learning this as well about myself and everyone. You have to know when people don't want your, when your advice, even though you know your advice would benefit them. So I don't waste my time anymore sitting down telling people that they can live their dreams or they can change their income or they can quit the rat race when they're not asking me. I'm not going to waste my breath because it might offend them. It might upset them. Then they're going to, you know, be horrible to me. It's just going to be a negative exchange, and, and I know I know my place in this um, domain. But if people ask me, and they're good people, I'm going to do everything I can to help them. Even if I'm in a conversation with someone, um, and they just need a little bit of advice, I, I love giving it. It's, an, it's a nice way to go about. But not everybody's like that in this world. You know, Not everybody is in a position where they're a good person, they're se successful in their life, they're living their dreams, they've overcome adversities and challenges and mental health challenges, and now they know how it feels to feel down and they want to encourage people. A lot of people are not in that mindset. A lot of people in the mindset of crabs in the bucket. They want to, they want to bring you down to make themselves feel good because they don't feel good. They've got low self-esteem and they don't want you to do better than them. And they're not introspective. They don't see every opportunity in life pretty much as an opportunity to grow and be a better person and help other people around you. They're not in that mindset. So you have to understand that everyone's at different levels of, of intelligence. Everybody's at different levels of emotional maturity. Not everybody has the tools to think about their reactions before they just react and just say things that are ignorant, critical, nasty, abusive, or sometimes just damn right, um, just stupidity. So it's been a great learning curve all, all these years. And it's interesting, as I said, seeing how you react better to situations. Um, so I was talking about that with a client and I thought I'd make a video um, about this as I'm passionate. I want to help more, especially more men who suffer with anxiety, paranoia, um, at the moment, some low confidence and they want to get past it and make more money doing what they love. Just break out of feeling like you're in prison and doing jobs that you don't enjoy anymore, that you're not passionate about. So it's not really about who's right or wrong. It's not like, well, 
you you do nine to five, I run a business, so I'm right and you're wrong. It's not really about that. Or you go university and I don't go university, so I'm It's not really about who's right or wrong. It's about who, who loves what they do and who is a good person. Because you can you can run a business and not be a good person and be nasty. Uh, it, it's not really about what you do it, to some degree. It's about who you are and are you happy doing what you're doing. I'm happy doing what I do. I love what I do. That's why I've been doing it for so many years. And that's why I do a huge proportionate amount of stuff for free. Like these videos that are, I'm going to do an event today and it's for free. I don't have to do it for free. I can charge, but I like doing a proportionate amount for free because it feels good to do some things for free. And that's why I also have paid programs and I get paid very good money because I deserve to and I own the right and the skills and the tools and, and I add great value on the market and to my clients who also can go on and do great things. So I've learned all these things and all these things come back to one social scenario that has come up for me quite a few times. It will come up again at some point. It's inevitable. It comes up for my clients. And that's where people are critical of what I do because it doesn't fit into their worldview. I've, I've done something that isn't the norm, um, even though loads of people run businesses all around the world go on YouTube. The same people that would criticize me for what I do at some point, they don't realize that they would be inspired by someone else who runs a business. They don't realize that, you know, I went into Sainsbury's today and I brought myself two, um, you know, healthy brown rolls, whole meal rolls, and it's a business. But I don't attack it and say, oh, you know. So it's just, you learn these things as you go along, and I'm grateful for the lessons. Some of the best lessons in life always come at, at the cost of having to go through a lot of pain, but then you come out the other side, you feel better and you're stronger. So now if someone criticized what I did, it doesn't bother me. See, what people try to do a lot of the time, they project their unhappiness and self-hatred at times. That's a strong word, but it's true, onto you. But they want to stop you. They're jealous. They're trying to stop you continuing. They don't want you to be happy and keep succeeding. So I'd never let a hater or, or someone who's critical. And sometimes people don't even mean it. It's not because they're bad. It's just because what they're taught 